You don't actually have any work experience. No, but I just graduated from FITM. How long ago? About a year ago. So what have you been doing since? Um, I've been working on my own collection, which takes up a lot of my time. What about internships? Isn't that just a way for companies to exploit people for free labor? So how do you expect to get any experience? By getting a job? How do you support yourself exactly? My dad helps a little. A lot. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. Uh, we'll be in touch after we've reviewed all the candidates. OK. Thank you. Um, I'm not getting this job, am I? Excuse me. This is my sixth interview this month. Everyone says they'll get in touch, but then they never do. Look, I know I don't have any work experience, but how am I supposed to get any experience if I can't get hired? All I need is a chance. I have great ideas. I can bring so much to your brand. Look, your drawings aren't bad. That's what got you in here. But you think you can waltz out of fashion school and get a job designing? Girls intern for years just to get an assistant job. Daddy may have paid your way through school, but out here in the real world, you have to work your way up. So I guess you won't be getting in touch. Good luck, Sasha. Sasha, is that? Please call me back. Hey, what's here going? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry about that. People come here and ruin everything. Excuse me? Why don't you just go back to China? Fuck you! I'm American! Hey, Sasha. How are you? Ugh, just terrible. Oh, sorry. But I know just the thing that'll cheer you up. These just arrived this morning. <gasps> Thank you. This is exactly what I need. <laughs> okay. So that'll be 1500 Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Did you get my present? I'm opening it now. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, Mom, these are beautiful. Do you like them? Yeah, I love them. But you shouldn't have. These look like they cost a fortune. It's OK. You deserve it. How was your interview today? Oh, awful. What happened? The lady was totally judging me for still being supported by dad. And I was like, well, if you would just give me a job, then I wouldn't need to be. I'm so sorry, honey. But you're so talented. I'm sure somebody will see that soon. I have no doubt. And dad won't stop calling me. Well, maybe he just wants to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> like he remembers. Plus, it's been weeks now. Well, why don't you just call him back? Because? I don't know how many different ways I can tell him I don't want to go back to China. Are you sure you don't want to consider? Just a little? Mom, I want to work in high fashion. Dad makes tacky toys that sit next to the toothpaste aisle at Walgreens. Well, your sister Carol has been working for him for years. She seems happy. Half sister. Plus, I don't really want to talk about this right now, Mom. I have a party to get ready for. God, you party too much. It's my birthday. OK, fine. Have fun. I will. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Sasha. We're all set up for you. Oh, thank you, Andre. You're the best. Hey, ladies! Thank you so much for coming. Who wants shots? Happy birthday! Rock this club, damn!
that you wanted hip hop and Britney. Yeah, I'm gonna just... be ready. Thank you, Henri. Oh, no, you oh, shouldn't yeah. have to pay. Oh, no. You guys, sh you are my guests, and my guests don't pay. We're so sorry. Thank you, guys. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a great day. Thank you for being born. Happy birthday. Oof. It's going to be very hungover tomorrow, I guess. I know. Excuse me, Miss Lee. May I talk to you alone for a moment? Oh, whatever you have to say to me, you can say from over there. I'm sorry, but the car didn't work. What? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. But that's not possible. I don't know. It, it was declined. Oh, can you try it again? I've tried several times. Do you have another car by chance? No, that's the only card that I brought. Well, how exactly will you be paying the bill tonight? One second. Hey guys, I'm so sorry about this, but uh, there's like an issue with my card. Do you guys mind um, chipping in for the bill? Yeah. Yeah, it's your birthday. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. It oh, happens. It's your birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. I'll totally make this up to you guys, I promise. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you, Miss Lee. Thank you for finally returning my call. What is happening with my credit card? Did accounting for you to like pay the bill or something? Actually, I blocked it. Why would you do that? You just humiliated me in front of all of my friends. Have you thought more about my proposal? How many times do I have to tell you? No. You've been out of school for almost a year now. What do you do, Alden? It's not like I haven't been looking for work. How could you have blown through half your trust fund already? So? It's my money. Not anymore. What is that supposed to mean? I'm cutting you off. What? You can't do that. I already did. Do you know how hard I worked to save that money for you? For the hundredth time, Dad, I have been looking for work every single day. And as soon as I get a job, I will pay you back. Or you can come back to China and help with the family business. And why would I want to do that? If you do a good job, after one year, I give you your money back. <sighs> oh my god, this is not really happening. Just think about it. I don't need to think about it. There is no way in hell I'm going to work for you in China. Go ahead, cut me off. I don't need your money anyway. Thank you for a great birthday, Dad. <gasps> Can you believe how unfair my dad is being? Like, there's no fucking way I'm going back to China. Isn't China supposed to be really nice these days? Maybe Shanghai or Beijing, but this is like some small factory town in suburban Shenzhen. Well, if you don't mind me asking, how much money are we talking about here exactly? A million dollars. Shut the fuck up. A million dollars? Um, I'll move to China for a million dollars. Right? I mean, it's not the whole million. I already spent half of it. On what? I mean, hello, rent here is not exactly cheap. Plus, we're drinking a $300 bottle of wine. Damn, girl. A million dollars is not a lot these days. It's not like my dad is some kind of billionaire. He runs a toy factory, and it's not even like Mattel or Hasbro. It was still, it's just a year. And then after that, you can pretty much do whatever you want with that kind of money. Yeah, I wish I had a dad who would just give me a million dollars. Yeah, well, I wish I had a dad who wasn't such an asshole. Wait, Sasha, is something going on? So, for the longest time, I thought I was my dad's only daughter. And then one day, out of the blue, my sister, Carol, shows up. And it turns out he had this entire other family before us and didn't bother saying anything. And then he moved my mom and me to California and basically just left us here. I saw him once a year, 
if even that. And then he knocked up a sample girl at his factory and divorced my mom. So yeah, if he's gonna treat my mom and me like shit, then why should I do anything for him? I'm so sorry, Sasha. Oh, it's okay. We all have daddy issues. Yes, we yes. have. <laughs> That's the truth. to wake you, Sasha. Oh, no, it's fine. What's up? Your rent check bounced. <laughs> what? I mean, that's not possible. Oh, um, actually, uh, it's just a misunderstanding. I'll, I'll fix it. Okay, no problem. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry, Sasha. Your father's frozen all of your assets. What? Can he even do that? Since he's the trustee in your accounts, yeah. <sighs> what am I supposed to do for money? Maybe you can consider getting a job. But you don't have any work experience or restaurant experience. No, but it's a hostess job, so. How hard could it be to stand there and greet people? Well, thanks for coming in. We'll keep in touch once we've reviewed all the other candidates. Thanks. Great. Hi, Mom. Look, I don't want you to worry, but your father. What happened? His office just informed me that there'll be no more alimony until you accept his offer. Are you kidding? Can you even do that? Sasha, I'll figure something out. <sighs> no, you know what? I'll call him right now. Don't do anything on account of me. No, look, I'll handle it. Yes. You cut off mom too? What is wrong with you? You don't want to contribute to this family? Why should I continue supporting the two of you? How is she supposed to survive without any alimony? Then maybe she should have learned a skill and gotten a job. She spoiled you too much. <sighs> Well, at least she was around. Some good that did. You are unbelievable. This is your last chance, Sasha. You can either come home and help out, or you can figure out how to support you and your mother on your own. What would it be? Uh, I can understand Chinese. I just don't speak it very well. Can you understand English? Uh, yeah, what else is new? Maria. 
Welcome home. This is not my home. Okay, I show you to your room. Okay. Holy shit, is that an elevator? <laughs> what? Ma'am, here's the AC. If you get hot or cold, you can adjust it here. Do you need anything else? Uh, no, you can go. Thank you. Okay. ready. Okay, can you just give me a, a minute? Okay, ma'am. Thanks. Olga! Olga! Hey, Olga! Sasha, you're back. Yep. Uh, Christian, your colleague. Say hi. Hi. Wow, look at you guys. You're all grown up. Hi. 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 I've been in California. Oh, actually, can you guys understand me? Yeah, I understand English, but how come you can't speak Chinese? I moved to the U.S. when I was really young, so my Chinese is not good. Do they live here? No. They live with their mom and her new husband. Sorry I'm late. Work with nuts. Sasha! Hi, Carol. Oh, look at you. I haven't seen you since my... Uh, see? <laughs> you should come back more often. Even your own siblings don't recognize you. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? Everybody sit down. Oh, sorry, Carol. Let Charter sit there. She's the VIP today. Of course that. Sasha, you sit here. Five years ago, when I renovated this house, my friends used to say, Mr. Lee, why do you need such a big house? And I would say, because I have lots of children. It was always my dream to have all my children living under the same roof. Except the Sasha was the missing piece. But today, the Lee family is complete. So, can we toast Sasha and welcome her home? Welcome home. Welcome home. I'm Sasha, and you are? Hi, I'm Lulu. And Lulu is? She takes care of me. Like how Maria takes care of you? 
No, different way. Does she live here? Yes, she lives here. And who are you? Oh, my name is Alan. I'm father of Lulu. Do you live here? Uh, yeah. Sasha, how was your flight? It was fine. Do you live here too? No, I have my own place. Carol has her own place? I should be able to have my own place. Don't you think you have bled through enough money already? Don't you think I'm too old to be living with my father and a bunch of strangers? You are not in a position to make any demands. Carol bought her home with the money she earned working for me. It's just a very small place in Dongwa and it's not worth much of anything at all. Are you forgetting why you're back here? Because you cut me and mom off and forced me to? You want to pick a fight first day you're back? I think I'm full. Good night. It's okay, I'll go talk to her. Eat. Leave me alone. It's me. Come in. Are you okay? I hate it here. It's only been a day. I've been here for 10 years. Oh, God, I don't know how you did it. Look, Dad and I had our fair share of fights in the early days, too, but you're lucky. He's actually mellowed out a lot since. This is him mellowed out? Yes. He told me I could no longer be his daughter if I didn't come back and work for him. Oh, my God. There's no rule saying you can only pass down your business to your children. He's not an emperor. Well, have you seen this place? <laughs> Do you have to live here? No, thank God. By the time he finished renovating, I had already moved into my own place with Scott. Hey, I'm sorry about Scott. It's fine. It was amicable. Hey. Who is that Lulu girl downstairs, exactly? Who do you think? <sighs> she better not be wife number four. She looks like she's my age. Actually, she's 22. Oh. But I think Dad's learned his lesson now. It's much cheaper to pay them as girlfriends than as ex-wives. Why does her brother live here? Oh, well, that is just part of their arrangement. Dad pays for him to go to school, and in exchange, she takes care of him. <sighs> Great. He's gonna pay for his girlfriend's brother to go to school, but he's gonna cut me off completely. I don't wanna be here. I hate Chinese food. I wanna go back to LA. No one has avocados. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Come have some breakfast. Oh, um, do we have anything else for breakfast? What's wrong with crunchy? I don't do carbs in the morning. Oh, tell Maria what you want. Um, could I please do an egg white omelet with spinach? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. We're all out of eggs. How can you be out of eggs? I'm sorry, sir. I used it all up for dinner last night. I will buy more later today. My daughter comes all the way back from America. You don't have eggs for her breakfast? I'm really sorry, sir. I go to store now. No, that's too late, Maria. We have to go to work. Dad, it's fine. I'll eat the kanji. It's okay. Go! And you, when we get to the factory, try and look happy. I don't want them to see you acting like this. My life is over. How am I supposed to act?
個冇問題啊。是的。你睇唔睇到喺邊度啊？是的，老闆。你盲嘅你。麻煩你啦。呢度所有啲人係你訓練出嚟嘅嘛，係嘛？是的。個個同你一樣咁盲嘅，睇喺邊度個問題。看一下這個嘴巴歪啦，這個衝得不夠均勻，你跳一段把它跳一下。明白未？明白啦，老婆。请大家注意，今日系一个大好嘅日子。我第二个女 Sasha 由美国翻嚟，加入我哋呢间公司，同我哋一齐做同事。我哋热烈欢迎阿 Sasha， 好唔好？热烈啲好唔好？ Good morning. Here's your desk. Don't get too comfortable. You won't be working from there today. What? Where am I working from then? And you will attach the tag to the toys like her. Monkey could do this job. Then you will fit right in. Why, why, why? I didn't try hard enough. So, how was your first day at work? Have I told you lately that I hate you? What is this for? Pay. What? This is only like fifteen bucks. Yes, and this is what they earn here in the day. That's basically like slave labor. Can't apply your American standard of living to China. Come on, let's go eat. What about Carol? She's busy preparing for the safe up meeting. Actually, here you take this. No, 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 take it. Take. Such a princess. I never had any food when I was growing up. Here we go again. But nobody ever took care of me. You kids have everything given to you. What have you done with it? At least you got to choose what you wanted to do with your life. You know how many people would love to be in the position that you're in right now? To be working in a toy factory in China? Um, no one. What's wrong with the factory in China? It paid for everything you had. Including your useless fashion degree. Gee, well, I'm so sorry that paying for your child's education was such a burden. I paid for your education because it's my duty as your father. Now it's your turn to pay back to the family. What about your duty to actually spend time with your kids? Oh, don't you think I wish I had more time to spend with my family? Don't you think my workers wish they had more time to spend with their children? It's a sacrifice we had to make to support our families. Eat. Hello, I'm Ruby. I'm very happy to meet you, Ruby. I'm Josh. Is this your first time to Hong Kong? Yes, this is not your first time, right? 对，我知道。你从哪里来
Where is everyone? Maria has the day off. Your dad is playing golf and Alan has tutoring. So it's just you and me? Yeah. Hey, do you want to get out of the house? Hello, Lulu, Hi, Hello. 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 Nice, right? Yeah. I've never received service like this at any salon before. And my haircuts cost like 200 bucks. What? All this is only 50 RMB here. That's only like eight bucks. Yeah. You certainly seem to be popular. Oh, that's just my WeChat. You should join. Everybody's on it. Well, I have it on my phone. I just. I don't know how to use it. Here, I'll show you. OK, now we're connected. Cool. Thanks. So is this what keeps you on your phone all day? Well, it's so boring around the house. I don't have anything else to do. Yeah, no kidding. Don't you ever want to get, like, a, a job or something so you can get out of there? Yes. but. Boss won't let me. I mean, he is my job. I know what you must think of me, but I never even finished high school. There's not much I can do. Taking care of boss isn't that bad, and he pays me pretty well. Besides, my brother was born illegally. He doesn't really have many options in life. Wait, what do you mean? The one-child policy. The second child cannot be registered officially and cannot go to public school. Without boss sending him to private school, he would have no future at all. So you're doing all of this for your brother? Yes. And what about after all of this? What do you want to do with your life then? Probably come back here. Wait, is this how you met my dad? Yes. Wow. Guys, look at this one. <laughs> Poor Santa. Had to OT to get all the toys ready for Christmas. So that's our Christmas line. What do you think? Uh, thank you, Teddy, for another entertaining presentation, as always. Can we quote anything for you? Um. Okay, uh, this one, and this one, and what do you think of snoring Santa? Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Oh, can we show you something else? It's not a problem. Teddy, I'm going to be frank with you. The collection this year is not the strongest we've seen, especially compared to some of your competitors. The colors and the accessories, it all feels kind of dated. You used to have the coolest products, but then you became one of those lazy Chinese guys that keeps knocking each other off, you know? But they can do it for less than you. Thank you for being honest. I'm sorry to disappoint you this time, but we will make improvements before you come next time. Looking forward to it. We walk you out. Wasn't good, huh? Mm -hmm. Get me the designers. Boss wants to see the both of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you like working here? 
Yes, yes sir. sir. Then why did you humiliate me? Uh, no, no, we're not humiliating. Oh, no. Sorry, sir. Do you think I like begging for orders? You think I like being reprimanded by the bloody buyer who hates your shitty stuff? Look at this rubbish. Look at it. Dad, what have you got? We have just a few meetings left to pitch for Christmas. And if they all go like today's, this factory will have to close down. All the workers will have to go back to their farms. Is that what you want? No, no sir. Then you will work overtime until you come up with a decent Christmas collection. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get out! Can you clean up, please? Somebody get me a coffee! Why don't you try a hipster Santa? What do you mean? Do you know what a hipster looks like? Not really. Here, let me show you. Even Google's blocked here? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So what do you guys use for searches? Baidu. Oh my god, how are you supposed to design anything if you have no access to the outside world? <laughs> Tell yes. me about it. It's been a struggle. Here, let me show you. That's, that's really good. Yes. I guess I did learn a thing or two at fashion school. <laughs> hmm. Tapos, tawin na lang natin yung backpack instead na sako. The oh. items are just a little bit bigger, and people will take it a little more seriously. Yeah, but I wish they had more colors. Hi, Dad. Sasha, can you wait until we're done? It's okay, Carol. Yes, Sasha, what do you want? I was just in the design studio. Their techniques are really good. It's just that the designs are old-fashioned. The buyer was right. They're cooped up in here in the middle of China every day. I mean, no wonder nothing they design is on trend. They don't even know what the trend is. How are they supposed to come up with fresh and innovative designs this way? What are you suggesting? Let me take them out to Hong Kong and do some market research. And blow some money? We'll just be window shopping. I think it'll be really good for them to see what the trends are this season. We've got a lot of deadlines coming up. We can't afford to have the designers take the day off and just go shopping. Why are you guys so resistant to new ideas? Fine, keep selling dated toys. See if I care. OK. Really? Can I have some money? Are you serious? You canceled my credit card, remember? OK, get some petty cash from accounts. Thank you. Dad. Yes. It was the same thing years ago. You always dismissed it as a waste of time. Don't you remember what the buyer was saying? Competition is getting tougher and tougher. I just thought Shasha, with her design background, she might come up with something that will turn things around. I'm so tired of Chinese food. Now, this is enough to eat at the factory. <laughs> is it bad? Oh, so bad we wouldn't even call it food, really. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. So, how long have you guys been working for my dad? Eight years. Five. What? 
How have you survived? I mean, in case you haven't noticed, he's a terrible boss. <laughs> we don't mind, really. He's, he's not always like that. Yeah, we're just happy to have a job. There's no way we can make this much money in the Philippines. Last year, my mom got sick, and he gave me the money to bring her here in Hong Kong to see the best specialist. He paid for the whole treatment. I was working at another company in China, but they laid me off. Jose begged boss to give me a chance so that I can continue to send my kids to school. Boss only needed one designer, but he hired me anyway. Wow, I had no idea. Do your kids live here? Uh, no, they're back home in the Philippines. Why don't you just move down here? <sighs> There's no one to take care of them. At least back home, my mom could take care of them. What, is there no daycare in China? <laughs> yes, but couldn't afford it, really. Why? How much is it? It's around uh, 2,500 renminbi yeah. a month. Well, that's like $300? That's not that bad, is it? Maybe not for you, but... Uh, that's like two-thirds of our salary. <laughs> yes. Oh. Almost everyone in the factory has to leave their kids at home, and most of them come from the villages up north. How often do you guys get to see your children? Once a year. Yeah, when we go home during Chinese New Year. That's it? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I guess... It's kind of the same for me and my dad. Dad? Hey, how was Hong Kong? What are you doing? Oh, just fooling around. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you played the guitar. You didn't know your dad was in the band? <laughs> what? When was this? A lifetime ago. Ah, we even went touring. Shut up. Why'd you stop pursuing it? Well, when I met Carol's mom, I had to settle down, so I got a proper job. Selling toys? That's right. And I became the number one salesman in that company. The lady buyers, they loved me. Oh, ew. Ah, I honestly think if it wasn't for Carol, I might still be there. Why? What does Carol have to do with it? I became a father. So I thought, start my own business to provide better for the family. Cool, yeah? Sure, cool. Mm -hmm. I see a pastel trend kind of happening. Maybe we should do some animals in like pastel pink or pistachio, mm -hmm. something lighter. Ma'am, what do you think? Honestly, it's still kind of traditional. Maybe we should give it like a kawaii look. Do you know what that is? Uh, you sketch? Yeah. Something. So maybe something like this. It's really good, ma'am. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice though. Oh, yes. Right? <laughs> Ready for lunch? Uh, I think I'm gonna eat in the canteen today. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Well, if it's good enough for the workers, it's good enough for me. It's not really how we do things around here. Okay, lighten up, Carol. Fine, suit yourself. When are the drawings for climbing's gonna be done? Tomorrow, ma'am. You said that yesterday. I need them before the end of today. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to eat with us? Yeah. I mean, it can't be that bad, can it? Yes, yes. take this everywhere. Yeah. We used to get a piece of fruit after each meal, and there was something fresh that we looked forward to. They cut it out. There's no budget. That's not right. Has my dad eaten here before? No. 
What about Carol? No. We've spent more time with you in the last few weeks than all the years that Carol has been here. Oh, I guess Carol doesn't really socialize with the workers, huh? You're much nicer than Carol. She's just as scary as boss sometimes. Well, she's not always like that. Dad, we should serve better food in the cafeteria. It's basically tasteless mush. Who told you to eat that? They should get a side of vegetables. And Ernesto said they used to get a piece of fruit, too. So trivial. We run the big picture. Yeah, but you're the boss. You know, it reflects badly on you if the food is so gross. Besides, I mean, better food leads to better morale. How much could it possibly be to just have, like, one extra apple a day? If you're too cheap to do it, then take it out of my paycheck. Really? How much do you think your paycheck is, exactly? Please. Please. <laughs> How about the video of this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, look at you. See, wow. everyone loves you. Look at that. Who doesn't love fruits, right? It's nothing. <laughs> Very good. 整個過程就係咁啦,你有冇問題?你哋有三日時間要做好佢。Shasha, you have some designs? Yes. So the designers and I have been working on some new concepts for Christmas and this is what we came up with. What do you think? A sloth for Christmas? And the colors feel more like Easter? Yeah, shouldn't they be in red and green? Says who? I mean, pastels are really in right now. And so are woodland creatures. No one says that you can't sell sloths for Christmas. We could make up our own rules. I suppose we can give it a try. Really? Well, they're different. It's what the customer wants, right? You tell them to give them their own design. This is my design. Sit down. If they do it well, I'll kill them. Sit down. Okay, boys. You can have lunch. So, where do you want to go to lunch? I think I'm going to eat in the cafeteria today. You don't have to keep going there, you know. Oh, I know. But the food has gotten so much better. Have fun, you guys. I guess it's just us. Do you really think Sasha's designs are sellable? Well, like I said, let's give it a try. Got nothing to lose, right? Clearly, though, whatever we've been doing, it's not working. Dad, last year was hard on everybody. It wasn't just us. The business will rebound. I remember when I first started the business, I was making 20, 25% profit on each toy. Today, we'd be lucky if we can make 10%. You know, I worked so hard all my life. What if it all comes to nothing? Dad, what are you talking about? You've accomplished so much with your life. No, real success is when the father can pass on a thriving business to his children. Don't you think that puts a lot of pressure on your kids? Pressure comes from having to provide a livelihood for 500 workers. Being head of a business is not. Smile. My favorite. Mr. Reindeer here comes in different sizes. Right. And so does Santa, nice as you can see. Very nice. And here is our new collection. It's very close to my heart. You know why? Why? Because my daughter, Shasha, designed the whole collection. Oh, that's nice. You must be so proud. Well, she studied fashion in the U.S. This is why her color combination are very special, don't you think? 
They are different and fresh, I'll give you that. Personally, I think they're great, but I don't think our customers will be quite open to it. This is for our Christmas promotion, so I think they would expect to see a little bit of red and green in their Christmas toys. Oh, well, we have that over there. Um, with all due respect... Uh, Sasha. Department stores are all chasing unexpected color palettes right now. And you guys are the oldest and largest gift chain in the United States. I mean, you set the trend, and others follow. Consumers don't know what they want until you show it to them. Well, I'm sorry about... The... No, it's fine. You know what? Quote me the entire collection. <laughs> Thank you so much. Would you like to see more? Please, let's take a look. Good job today. Thanks. Yeah, these came out pretty good. I like the mouse. Yeah. yeah. Sasha, Dolly has placed an order for your collection. <gasps> what? Let me see. 200,000 pieces. That's huge. Thank God. Just what we need. Oh, Carol, um, I think this is a good time for Sasha to take over the Darius account. Oh, well, I've been taking care of them for 10 years. I know. You've done a good job. But I think she can take on more responsibilities. Yeah, you're right. Really? Thank you. I won't let you down. Can we go out and celebrate tonight? Carol, you're 34. Go out if you want. Go. OK, let's do it. What do you have in mind? Hong Kong. Your turn. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, come on, Carol, live a little. When's the last time you had a shot? I honestly can't remember. Take the shot. Take it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Seriously, what have you been doing for fun all these years? Well, I met Scott right away, so. That helped. Oh, so that's why you stayed here for so long. Partly. Hey, so what What happened with you guys? I'm, and I'm sorry I didn't reach out when I heard. Well, the official story is that you wanted to leave China and I wasn't ready to. And the real reason? We wanted to have family, but I just couldn't make it happen. I'm sorry. This whole time I thought Scott just wanted to go back to the US. We were trying for years. We kind of came up with this crazy theory. What? I thought it had something to do with Dad. What, like he was such a shitty father that now you can't have children? I know that it sounds crazy, but yeah, I just thought it was like karmic payback for all the kids that he, you know. What? You know. No, what? Have you got rid of? What? Uh, I'm sorry, I thought that you knew. When did this happen? I had a lot of girlfriends while he was married, so just do the math. <sighs> wow. Hey, my mom never really told me the full story. Was dad still married to your mom when he met mine? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's okay, I mean, it's not your fault, but how could you not know? I mean, honestly, until you guys came to stay with us that summer, I had no idea that Dad had, like, this whole other family. Which is kind of the reason that they got divorced. And then we ended up moving to New York. So. Well, for what it's worth, he did the same exact thing to us. I barely saw him once we moved to California. So, karma. Sorry that we weren't closer when we were growing up. But hey, we got each other now. We do. Come in. Oh, hi, Dad. What are you drawing? Just doodling some Easter designs. They look cute. 
Yeah, I'm just playing around. Yeah. What's this? Dad. Well, it's your money. I'm giving it back to you. I don't know if I can accept this. What? After everything? You don't want your money back? I don't feel like I've earned it. I mean, the year isn't even up yet. Oh, well, never mind. I can see you have grown so well into the business already. Please, keep it. You earned it. But promise me, don't blow it like before. Okay. Good night. Thanks, Dad. The PBS samples for the Darlings archive. Oh. You know what? I think it might actually be cuter if we use this fabric for the scarf. What do you think? We are not supposed to make changes to the sample so close to production. Oh, it's fine. I mean, I'll email the buyer and let her know it's a better design choice. I'll get the sample approved. Don't worry. But boss told us before not to use this fabric anymore. <sighs> hey, I'm in charge of this order. So it only matters what I say. Understand? Okay. Shush it. Good job. Sucker. Christian. Fancy with Jamsa Fancy. Sasha. Mm. Dior and Christian are going to come and stay for a while. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Why? Did something happen? Their mom is going to America to have the new baby. Oh, you guys are going to have a younger sibling. Are you excited? OK. Daddy, how go you hold how you hold a young boy? Do you hold him? A young boy in America. I don't know if you hold him with your teacher. What? What? I don't know. All the teacher and mother of daddy and mommy will go to him. 媽咪次次都會去噶啦。我咁你話俾佢聽，你媽咪去咗美國咪得咯。我講咗啦，所以老師想你去。我唔識你老師喎，咁我見到佢同佢講乜嘢啊？爹哋，求你俾黑面啦！如果你唔去，我會好醜噶。嚇！沙成替我去啊 ！Excuse me， 你從來都冇參加過學校嘅活動。爹哋惊住啲人以为系你爷爷啊嘛，千祈唔好喊啊！如果对你咁重要，爹哋会去 ，OK？OK， 即刻。Yeah, I win again, loser. Epic, take that sucker. Here you go. The PPS all ready for production. 这个围巾的布料跟之前不一样。Yeah, but the customer signed off on it, so it's fine. See? 可是。Why is everyone making such a big deal out of one little piece of fabric? The customer signed off on it. Now just go and order all the materials, okay? 好吧。谢谢。I don't understand why my collection failed testing. Let me see a sample. When did the scarf fabric get changed to this? I changed it in the pre-production samples because I thought it looked better. Yeah, but we stopped using this fabric because the sequins are a potential choking hazard. Oh, I didn't know. Why didn't you check with us first before you changed it? I... I... Is that a problem? Yeah, Sasha's collection failed testing. Why? She changed the fabric on the scarf. Who told you to make a change? I just thought it looked prettier. I'm sorry. Shit. I have to check on the fabric. Wang Jingli. Hey, 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 don't get caught. Chow Chow Pita. This is the last piece of paper I've already caught. I've already caught all the paper. Hey! I'm so sorry for this mistake. Can we switch back to the original fabric? I can email the client and let her know. It's not that simple. We have already ordered all the fabric. If we start over now, we will miss our ship date, and they will make us pay for the air freight. I'm sorry. 
Now I have to go and work out how to get out of your mess. You have to hold the staff accountable when they screw up. They're not your friends. You sound like Dad. What's gotten into you? Sasha, we're running a business here. This isn't your personal playground. What would you guys decide? We're going to send a sample with the original scarf to retest. But wouldn't the toy itself technically still be unsafe? These tests are just formalities. It's highly unlikely that somebody would actually check on one of the sequins. But wouldn't we still be lying to the customer? It's not a big deal if no one gets hurt. No worries, I'll just look around by myself. Shouldn't you be checking in on her? Dior, just stop it, Dior! This is not how a good girl behaves. Oh, so he can do this in the office, but I can't? Who told you to copy him? Aren't we supposed to learn from our parents? The good parts. Just because he's acting like a baby doesn't mean you have to. Dior, you are embarrassing yourself in front of the whole office. Look, everyone's watching you. I don't care! What do they expect when I have a father like that? He never taught me any manners, okay? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. He wasn't there for me and Carol, and you don't see us going around the office throwing a tantrum, do you? At least he didn't give you guys back. What? What are you talking about? Dad actually won the kids in the custody battle. What? What judge would award him the kids? Oh. But after a month of living with them, Dad realized he couldn't possibly take care of them, so he gave them back to their mom. Really? I'm sorry, kiddo. But at least he actually fought for you. That has to come for something, right? I'm not stupid. I know he did it to get out paying child support. Look, when I was your age, Dad left my mom to go live with Sasha's mom. And for the longest time, I thought I had done something wrong to make him leave and go have another family. But I grew up, and I got over it. You can let your parents' divorce hang over your head for the rest of your life and use that as an excuse for everything that goes wrong, or you can choose not to let it define who you are. Stop blaming everyone but yourself. She's your daughter, too. Take some responsibility. You already screwed up your last two families. Christian and Dior are young still, so there's time, but you don't want them growing up resenting you, or worse, feeling indifferent. Yeah, Dad, she's acting out because she feels neglected. Sasha and I both know firsthand how that feels. You have to start connecting with her now, before it's too late. Dior? Yeah. Okay, I miss. Copy daddy, thank you, 
，點解叫做 Carol 佢㗎？唉、哎，好多嘢你唔明噶嘛。Yes, I understand. Yes. Carol, Sasha, get over here. Just had a call from Dalius. Is something wrong? A kid choked on some loose sequins from the scarf. Oh my God! Are, are they okay? Yes, they have to recall the whole stock, including the ones without the scarf. Shit. We are now on their blacklist. They will never do business with us again. I'm sorry. I have kept this business going for thirty-four years, and you have destroyed it in one. Dad. Sasha's new. There's no way that she could have known. And I'm not the one who decided to fake the test result. And you're not to blame. Dad, let's try to figure out how to resolve this issue instead of just attacking Sasha. There's nothing to resolve. Let's just close out the company. Isn't that what you want? No. Why would you say that? You never wanted to come back in the first place. You know how hard all my workers have to work. So you can have your high life. Yes, I know how hard they have to work, and I feel like I've tried my best to help them. Your little stunt have just cost their annual trip home. What are you talking about? I'm cancelling their bonuses. Dad, there's got to be a better way. No other way. We have to cover the cost. I wish I never asked you to come back in the first place. You are nothing but selfish, a spoiled brat, totally useless, and will always be a disappointment to me. Sasha, don't act so rashly. You know that he didn't mean it. Stop defending him all the time. Look, I know that he crossed the line this time, but can't you just stay? We we can try to work it out. Honestly, Carol, I don't know how you've put up with him for this long. Sasha, this was supposed to be my last year. What are you talking about? I've been wanting to leave for some time now, but Dad convinced me to stay and help you get through the year first. What is this? Some daughter swap program? I think if you leave now, then I will really be stuck here forever. Carol, look, I I'm sorry that Dad has manipulated you for the past ten years, and I'm sorry you think you can't leave unless I stay. But you're a grown woman. Stop asking everyone for permission on how to live your life. You don't think that I wanted to have my own life too? But Dad needed help, so I stepped up. I put ten years of my life into this family business. It's time that you contributed too. I came back, didn't I? Only after I convinced Dad to cut you off. Wait, what? I'm sorry, Sasha. It was the only way to get you to come back. How could you do that to me? I just wanted you to see what it was like for me for the last ten years. Do you know how hard I worked while you just parted away all that hard-earned cash, money that I helped Dad make? It is not fair, Sasha. Dad threatened to disown me if I didn't come back and work for him, but he let you just stay in LA, do whatever you wanted. He's always loved you more. Oh my God, Carol, get over it. He's a shitty dad to me too. I have never once tried to compete with you, and I would never try to sabotage you like this. You know the sad thing is. I thought getting reacquainted with you was the best part of this whole experience. I didn't realize I was just a part of your sick little revenge plot. Sasha, that's not what I intended at all. Well, Dad's all yours again. Have fun taking care of him for the next ten years. I'll just get out of the way so you can be his favorite daughter.
Natasha? Where are you going? I'm uh, going back to America. For how long? For a while. You're not coming back, are you? I'm sorry. We're gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm really sorry, but I gotta go. food for you. You must be starving. How long was I out? You've been sleeping all day. Mm. How do you feel? Tired. And like I let everyone down. Oh, honey, don't blame yourself. Your father has no filter. He always talks without thinking first. I know. But also the workers. I mean, because of me, none of them are gonna be able to go home. If there's one thing I learned from being married to your father, is that despite all his flaws, down deep, deep, deep down inside, he really does have a kind heart. He won't let the workers suffer. He'll figure out a way to pay them. I hope so. You know what's weird, Mom? What? I actually kind of liked China. I know. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do next. You just got back. Give yourself a break. You'll figure out your next step soon enough. called for safety issues. So, what happens to them now? Going into the dumpster. Really? But so much work went into them. Yeah, I'm just following orders. Can I buy them from you? Mm. Yeah, have them. Really? Yeah, happy holidays. Thanks.
Now that we have lost Darius, we need to secure new accounts. Even if we have to lose money to it. Once they're loyal, we've got them. That's the way you do it. Problem with you, you never listen to me. You always quote too high. We can't survive like that. Soon, everyone will be going to Indonesia to buy their toys. Ted, can we ever talk about anything other than just business? Have you spoken to Shasha at all? No. I work so hard to give you girls the good life. It's not appreciated. You just complain I don't spend enough time with you and run off at the first small round. I don't understand why I do this for my family. Maybe you shouldn't be mixing family with business. The family was the reason I started the business. You can keep telling yourself that, but you did it because you were ambitious. No, I was fulfilling my responsibilities. You want to talk about responsibility to the family? Okay. How about don't cheat? How about don't have a daughter with another woman when you already have one? How about don't abandon your family in the first place? I never abandoned you. You moved another woman into our home and you had a baby with her. Do you have any idea how that made me feel? My entire life, I felt like I am second best to Sasha. But that's not true. You are my first child. Nobody can ever take your place. You told me that you would disown me if I didn't come back and work for you, but you let Sasha just do whatever she wanted. Only because I expected so much more of you. I have always thought you'd be the one to take over. Dad, I want to go back to just being your daughter. You are my daughter. What are you talking about? No. I'm your employee. I've been your employee first for the last 10 years, and I'm tired of it. I don't want our only conversation to be about business. I came back because I wanted to make up for lost time, but I think it actually might be better for our relationship if we don't work together anymore. Our business is a family business. No. It's your business. Your family owes you absolutely nothing. I think you can think of a qualified person or two to hand it over to. Girl. Why have you been ignoring us? I'm sorry I've been MIA. I've just been too embarrassed to get in touch after everything that happened in China. These are so adorable. I can't believe that you designed them. Yeah, Sash, you should be really proud of yourself. I mean, look at these sketches. They're, they're really good. I mean, none of it matters anyway. Because I insisted on using that stupid scarf, they're all just going to end up in the dumpster. And my father's company is blacklisted, and his workers are losing their bonuses. That's not right. I mean, if the scarf is the only issue, why don't they just cut it off? Yeah, just do that, and then, I don't know, at least donate them or something. Yeah, so many kids would want one. I want one. But it's their corporate policy, so, like, what can I do about it? You know, my niece's best friend is this really huge toy influencer on YouTube. She's eight years old, and she's got, like, 10 million followers. Damn. Wow. Do you think if she reviewed them, that would change things? Oh, yes. 100%. I mean, one review from her, and every kid in America is going to want your toy. And then Dials will have no choice but to keep these on the shelves. Girl, we are totally going to get you out of this mess. <laughs> oh, my god. That would be amazing. I'm going to message her right now. Girl, what are friends for? Mm. We're going to have to cut off so many scarves. <laughs> so many scarves. <laughs> <laughs> The week your collection was set to be recalled, we suddenly got bombarded with calls for them. That's quite a coincidence, wouldn't you say? Hmm. I guess it is. 
So, after much internal discussion, we've decided to put them back on our shelves. Really? Not doing so is creating a whole new set of PR problems for us. But we still do have an obligation to ensure our customers' safety. So, we've decided to cut off all the scarves. Of course. I trust that you will take care of the labor and retest fee. I'm sure we can work something out. It's been really good seeing you again. Yes, thank you for having me. Listen, I heard what happened between you and your dad. Yeah. I really hope you two can work things out. Me too. But if you are looking for work, I think we may have something for you. Really? Yeah, we could use someone with your design and manufacturing experience. Just think about it. I will. Thank you. to barge in on you like this, but I had a stopover and thought I could get in touch. Do you want to grab lunch? Um, yeah, let me just uh, grab my stuff. So Dahlia's, huh? Yeah, it was a surprise to me too. It's pretty cool you were able to save the order. Well, that's the least I could do after I screwed everything up. Do you like it there? Yeah. Actually, I do. I guess I had to go back to China to finally land a job here. <laughs> well, I'm glad something good came out of that whole experience. Yeah. I guess I have you to thank for that, right? Sasha, I'm so sorry about everything. It's fine. I'm sorry, too, for the way we ended things. Can we just go back to the way that things were? Yeah, of course. So, um, I finally left the company. Oh my God, what happened? You were right. It's time for me to do something for myself for a change. Good for you. How is dad taking it? Surprisingly well, but I do feel bad leaving him behind like this. Morale of the company is on an all time low. I think that almost losing their bonus really put everyone on edge. I'm afraid that a lot of people aren't going to return in the new year. And Dad will really be screwed next year. Well, it was so good seeing you. Yeah, you too. What are your plans now? I have absolutely no idea. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You too. Mm. Bye. Bye. What are you doing here? I'm uh, on a pre-sourcing trip with Dahlia's. I thought I'd stop by. Ah, uh, yes, I heard you got the job. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm sorry that I ran out like that. Oh, no. I should be sorry. I should never have said those things. I didn't mean them, but I'm sure you understand. I do. 
So I heard morale has not been high at the factory. They got their bonus back? They were there. I have an idea for how we could boost morale. You want to add dessert to their lunch now? Why don't we provide on-site childcare so they don't ever have to leave their kids behind again? With what money? My trust fund. Oh, no, that's ridiculous. That money is for your future. I don't deserve that money. They do. They've worked much harder and much longer than I have. They shouldn't have to only see their kids once a year. Yeah, but this is business, not personal. It's personal for them. They're hardworking people just trying to support their families. And that's how you started, remember? And you were able to achieve that pretty quickly. But then you wanted more. You wanted the nicer car, the bigger house, the younger wife. When is it ever enough? Especially when the people who got you here can barely make ends meet. All they want is a chance to provide for their kids. They shouldn't have to sacrifice their families in order to do it. You know what? You are stubborn and hot-headed, but I have never felt more proud of you than right now. Look I can still manage. But then why was it so important for me to come back? All that talk about giving back to the family. Oh, you think I made you come back for me? Uh, yes. No, 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 no. I made you come back for you. It's so that I can teach you business, so you can have work experience. That is more valuable than any trust fund I can give you. Of course, I would like to hand the company down to you and Carol, but if you girls don't want to do it, nothing I can do. So, I was thinking maybe I can help come up with toy ideas for you while I'm in LA, as a freelancer, you know? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, I'd really like that. What about your job? I can only sketch after work. Wow, that would be wonderful. Nothing would make me happier. Oh, Dad. So, is this a good time to discuss my rate? Rate? What rate? Well, you actually want to be paid? Dad, yes, of course huh? I want to so be paid. Right. You just taught me all I know about business. I'm not going to work for free. LA is very expensive. China, farmers don't have to pay dollars, OK? Yes, but I'm American. <laughs> so I think you have to. Oh, in the family. <laughs> Why do you have to pay each other? <laughs> Too far, cause you know it don't matter anyway. You can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. It's a bitch girl, and it's gone too far, cause you know it don't matter anyway. Say money, but it won't get you too far, get you too far. Don't you know? 
Cause you know it don't 